Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for July 2nd. Currently looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This particular pair closed lower today, still moving sideways, biased to sideways. Currently looking for this pair to move potentially as high as 97.58, possibly as low as 94.98. Look for some resistance around 96.15 and look for some support around 95.61. Now, switching to the Euro USD pair, this pair did close down. It is also moving sideways, bias sideways. Currently looking for this pair to potentially go as high as 142.57, possibly as low as 138.98. Look for some resistance if it moves higher at 140.31, possibly uh, hitting some support around 139.00. Now, let's take a look at the pound US dollar pair. This pair continues to move sideways. We are looking for this pair to potentially move as high as 166.23, possibly as low as 162.04. Look for some resistance around 16300 and possibly look for some support around 16450 in this particular pair. Now, switching to the US Swiss, this particular pair we have uh, is moving sideways, buys to sideways, did close up for the session. We're looking for it to potentially go as high as 1.0947, possibly as low as 10659. Look for some resistance around 1.0900, possibly some support around 10813. Well, the non farm payroll for the U.S. came out, it was worse than expected moving from negative 322k to negative 467k fairly large drop, uh, jump the euro held rates at one percent uh, today and we really have no news announcements no significant news announcements for tomorrow uh, going into the u.s holiday weekend uh, as far as what i'm looking at going into the into tomorrow um, just something I'm looking at and going to watch. Most likely will not trade this, but just wanted to show you. We have a swing trade setup that has occurred. The market moved a little higher and then has come down and pretty much tagged that level. Um, basically, you could look for a break below the current low of this session and look for it to come down and tag this session's low as well. And that's a, a little bit, probably around 80 pip move or so. You can definitely see it moving th to that point, taking this session's low as your stop loss. So that uh, is a good little trade setup, sw swing trade setup that could very well trigger and move lower. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Filder. Good trading.